about the you know the, you're starting to do a program get the schooling going a Christian yes. school yes. going and so forth funding yes. and everything yes. I naturally assume that uh, you take donations for that we do take them but we don't solicit them mm -hmm. it's a, uh, whoever wants to well I'll tell you yeah. what I want to do um, I would like to quickly now just put down a little donation for you for well, you. maybe it'd be best if we talked about donation after after the Oh, well, sure, we can, but uh, i tell you what, just um, here, use my Bill, pen. We have a piece of paper. No, don't worry about it. Just, listen, just a little bit right here. Bill, just, we don't have to now. I know we don't, but I, we're oh, going to. Why just don't we wait after, after the telecast? Okay, well, we can go in more in detail. Just mark it down now. Oh, mark okay. it down right now. Bill, like. are you sure this is Sure, it? sure, go ahead. Um, on I want TV, to help out. Bill, we're on TV, Go ahead Bill. and put it down. No, we'll talk later okay. if you want more later, if I can okay, give more Bill. later. You sure now? Sure, put it down. All right, I'll tell you what. Does three sound okay? Bill, sounds good. Bill, but listen, is this what you really want to do now? Do it, please. I appreciate you being my guest. We can go into it later. We'll go have coffee or something, but put it down, please, right now. Okay. Just put my name down. All right, Bill. And, you know, put down three. Bill, are you sure this is what you want to do? Just put down three. Sure. I want to shake your well, hand. Sure, fine. I really appreciate having you guess and put that down as a little Bill bit of donation. Bill Landing, out. $300. <laughs> Thank well, you. Uh, Those three hundred dollars is going to be uh, very a instrumental. Mistake there when I, I, Bill is going to be very three. instrumental. Yeah, I'm, I would and, have uh, three. doing I a mean, lot of things. It's going to help on our outreach and on our benevolent fund. It's going to be very great, Bill. Mm -hmm. Those three hundred dollars might well, help buy tapes and feed some of those hungry people up there. This apparently looks like how we're going to conclude today's Bill, episode. And also, you know what I'm going to do? I want to thank everybody for being I'm going to tell guest. all of my friends up in Benton Harbor when they need assistance. And I hope to see you all again some soon. I hope you enjoy the program. Thank you very much. I will we'll tell them to see Mr. Bill Landing. We're going to have to have thank a serious talk about this Bill, God now. bless you. We have to have a serious talk Thank you very much. It's going to be... All right, and we're going to conclude our little Christmas special here, and I am at the Galena Tree Nursery out in Heston on 200 East, is it? Yeah. And I am with David Johnson, who is the owner of Galena Tree Nursery, and we're out in the uh, midst of all the Christmas trees. And let's just talk a little bit about what kind of trees you have out here. We have scotch pine out here and Douglas fir, and uh, we do grow a few blue spruce also. And how long have you been in the uh, selling of the Christmas trees? This is our second year uh, uh, with, with these trees here. All right, have you been involved with this uh, in other places? Yes, I've been in the nursery business practically all my life. All right, and what, um, what type of trees do you deal with here out at the nursery? Mostly pines and fir, and uh, mostly Christmas trees. We do grow some ornamental stuff too for, for summer sales. All right, and uh, how many acres of Christmas trees do you have here? I see quite a few behind us. There's uh, about uh, 40 acres of trees here all together right now, and we're expanding every year also. All right, and when is, is today the, we're filming this on November the 27th, is today the first annual day of the kicking it off with the trees? Yes, it is. Uh, we always want to get going the day after Thanksgiving, and that's kind of a tradition amongst the uh, growers. All right, and what uh, sizes of trees do they range from that you have out here? Well, mostly they're around uh, uh, 5 to uh, 10 foot. Mm -hmm. All right, and you, I'd like to know what uh, areas uh, around here, you're in Heston, what areas do most of your clientele come from? Most of our clientele comes from the Michigan City area and uh, Long Beach area, and some Chicago people come out also. 
Mm -hmm. All right, and what do uh, what's it like dealing with people looking for Christmas trees? What are they looking for when they come out? They're always I don't know. It's they uh, they like to browse around. They like to take their time, and and uh, we always find that uh, usually uh, they'll look at any number of trees. They usually will go back to the first one that that they saw and buy it. All right, now you uh, we just saw you uh, cutting down some of the trees. Uh, are some of the people allowed to cut down some of their own? Yes, they are. They can come out here. We have uh, hand saws for them to use. We don't allow chain saws uh, because of uh, insurance purposes, but uh, we do have hand saws for them to use, and, and uh, they can cut what they want. All right, do you drive them up in the truck then and uh, let them browse around and do what they want? They can drive their car out here, or we can drive them up in the truck, whatever they want to do. They can drive right out in here with their own vehicle. Uh, what, uh, you know, between now and uh, the middle part of December, what uh, part of the month of December do you see it really getting uh, the busiest? Well, usually around the, uh, around the 5th. That would be, uh, that would be the, uh, the, the first week in December is probably the busiest. And how long up into December will you be selling the trees? Up until Christmas Eve? Yes. Even Christmas Day. Even the day after Christmas if they want one. Uh, does that all happen often in the past where people come after Christmas Day or on no, Christmas Day? No, I was being facetious. Oh, all right. Well, you had me going there for a while. But uh, let's talk a little bit about, you know, you've been dealing with uh, trees for many years. Uh, you know, people, you know, they, when you get the real tree, you have to put it in the stand and water it and everything. What are some of the proper ways to successfully take care of a tree if you're going to have it two or three weeks before Christmas? Well, the main thing is to keep keep it in water, and uh, the, for the people that that buy a tree from a lot that where they don't know how long it's been cut, they should cut some off of the bottom of the tree because the trees have a tendency to heal. The wound has a tendency to heal, and if it's if it's out in the air for uh, a couple of weeks, why that'll heal, and and the tree will not draw water, and that's where you have problems with needles falling off. If you keep if you if you trim that and uh, and uh, give it plenty of water, keep water in the pan, why they should last uh, up until the first of the, or first of January. You know. mm -hmm. uh, just you yourself, what uh, about what size of tree do you yourself keep in your house each year? <laughs> eight footer, yeah, eight footer. Any particular reason why? No, we just. Uh, Normally we'll pick a tree out that uh, that we've been watching for a couple of years and then that's the one we'll use. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, we'll be heading back uh, more towards the barn and the shop and do a little bit more talking and looking around a little bit. You have some of the trees up there. I understand you make wreaths also? Yeah, we have a lady making wreaths right now. Okay, if we can visit. Tree Nursery, and I have Violet Miller with me, one of the co-owners of the Tree Nursery, correct? That's right. <laughs> All right, and she's going to go over a little bit of some of the wreath making you do here at the nursery. Okay. We have, uh, basically, we use blue spruce and scotch pine to make our wreaths, and we make them on frames. This is Patsy Davidson, my neighbor, that's, that's helping me to make these this year. And uh, we decorate them with apples and pine cones, and Patsy makes some big, beautiful bows to put on them, and then we sell them for outdoor use or indoor use. Uh, we also make some grave blankets for the cemeteries. Uh, we, we started doing this, we started growing our trees in 1982, and this is our first actual year of sales. This summer we sold fruit and vegetables in our market, but this is our first big tree crop. So we're kind of excited about it and hope to have a, a good turnout this year. About roughly how many uh, wreaths will you be making for this uh, upcoming Christmas? We will probably make about 100 wreaths. Mm -hmm. And hopefully we'll sell 100 wreaths. <laughs> All right, and you'd mentioned blue spruce and what was the other type of tree? Uh, this is blue spruce and we use scotch pine. Scotch pine is a longer needle but uh, the, the short needle makes a very nice and a very full wreath. Yeah, which you've answered a question I was about to ask. I was wondering why you picked those certain types of trees for the wreaths, but uh, they just make a nice wreath, do they? Yes, they do. Douglas fir makes a nice wreath, too, but it, does, it tends to lose its needles more readily than, uh -huh. and quickly than, than the uh, blue spruce. All right, now, as we can just camera pick up a little bit, you have a little country store here, and we can see some people probably in the background walking around. What are some of the main items that you sell in the store, and what do people come here looking for? Well, we have jams and jellies and uh, homemade Christmas ornaments. We have um, 
homemade peanut brittle, and we have taffy apples and all those kinds of things, and little stocking stuffers and all kinds of homemade things and goodies. We have hot chocolate for the kids and coffee. And now, what, um, what are your main hours out here at the Galena Tree Nursery, you know, on weekdays, weekends, and so forth? During the week, we'll be here from 1 in the afternoon until probably 6 or 7 in the evening. On the weekend, we'll open up in the morning probably around 10 o'clock and be here all day up until about 7 o'clock at night. Mm -hmm. Now, David, when uh, demonstrating you know, some of the trees we got to talk, he says a lot of your business comes from the Michigan City area. You care to comment on that? We get a lot of uh, people from Long Beach, Michigan City. We have a lot of people that come from Chicago and they're asked how to get off of the expressway and how to get here. We're kind of out of the way being really not really close to any any city or any town, but uh, a lot of people find us. Uh -huh. Excuse me for setting you aside, but I can't help but get this ham on the air. Tell me what his name is Beauregard and can you tell me what his duties and responsibilities are here at the tree farm? Beauregard Hi, baby. is a keeper of the farm. Um, he protects us from um, any wrongdoers. Uh, he guards the barn, he guards the house, and he guards the children. Come here, Bo. Uh, <laughs> Come, here. Come down. Oh. Come down. <laughs> Can you sit? Yeah. Sit. Can we get a little entertainment here from Beauregard? Oh, what a baby. Oh, he's a good boy. <laughs> he's a good boy. Beauregard. He's very friendly with the customers. Mm -hmm. you sit. Bo, sit. <laughs> good. Be good. He helps guide them. Does he wander up to the hills every now and then with the customers? Or? Yes, he does. And oftentimes he tries to get in their car. But we try to uh, keep him here because he is a family pet and we want to keep I'm him. Sure he, I'm sure he doesn't eat too much. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> If it moves, he doesn't eat it. But oh. if it doesn't move, he usually eats it. You know? <laughs> well, Violet, thank you for letting us come out here. And just, just for the record, uh, mention where you're located and so forth. We're two miles south of Heston on Fail Road. Uh, we're about 30 miles from South Bend and 18 miles from Michigan City. All right. Well, thank you for taking the time, and best of luck with the uh, sales and so forth here at the Galena Tree Nursery. Come on. Thank you for coming. Come on, Beauregard. We're back with our interesting individuals Christmas program and rejoining me are some recent guests and that is Kristen Van Alstein and Jackie Mellon, the Purdue North Central cheerleaders and ladies. We invite you to stop back by the show and we see we ha you have your costumes or your, actually your uniforms on. So thank you for stopping by. I want to talk with you, Kristen, just for a moment. You were in the Miss Doolin pageant recently and you won a couple of awards in that. How did that work out for you? It was actually really fun. It was a really good experience. Um, I really enjoyed being with the girls. It was, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to keep doing it. I liked it a lot. All right, and we will be seeing that on Channel 99 here in the near future. And we have a birthday girl here. Of course, this will play a couple of weeks after we taped it, but we're taping this in late November. And Jackie, we just want to say a happy birthday to you. Thanks. And it's your birthday is going to be November 25th? Correct. I'll be 19. All righty. You don't spend too much on birthday gifts for other people. Oh, no, not, no. All righty, and how's things going out at Purdue North Center with your uh, studies? Oh, it's going really good. I really enjoy it out there. It, the first time I was there, I expected something totally different, but the classes aren't really that bad at all. All righty, well, you ladies are going to be meeting a special person who makes an appearance at Christmas time, and you've both been good this year, haven't you? Oh, yes. How about you? I've been very good. <laughs> All righty. Ladies, thank you. We'll see the girls back on camera in just a little bit. Now that Christmas is here, the one man who never gets any rest is old St. Nick himself. He has countless gift ideas to sort through, and he has to please many people. But as we all know, Santa Claus is the one man who can do it each year. It's so hard to keep track of all these toy requests. Computers, bicycles, mopeds, and video games. Oh, then there's that long sleigh ride home. It's worth it, though, because everybody wakes up happy in the morning. Ladies, you have your list? Yes, Santa. A Ferrari? Yeah, my car Betsy won't make it to PNC in the wintertime. A Great Dane, but you already have three. Yeah, but they're big. I want to see them small again as puppies. Jackie, here's my gift list to you. Kristen, here's mine. But can you please spend over five bucks this year? What are you talking about? I spent seven last year. Last year? I bought you a Great Dane. Oh. 
Santa, what's wrong? I only get cookies. Aww. Santa has his escorts ready.